Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pirate Galaxy. In the last episode, we took care of a few of our story missions on Terrassa. Got about a little further than halfway through. In this episode, we're going to be doing a couple more. These are long ones, so they're going to take most of the episode. I also managed to fix the microphone on my headset, so hopefully the audio sounds a lot better. First mission we're going to do today is the Graviton Depot. I did record this one before I fixed my mic, so it's going to sound like you're used to. But let's get started. So this mission is actually pretty tough. What you want to do is get to the Graviton Reactor you're supposed to defend as quickly as possible. It's up here at the Graviton Depot. The reactor is already under attack, so speed is crucial here. Alright, that thing didn't stun me like I was, thought it was going to. Much like playing, things are going to drop one or two at a time to attack this thing. In addition to the regular mantis attacking it. There are mantis in this area, so... What you want to do is attack these mantis one at a time and get them dead. And don't attack anything unless it comes close. That's one of the biggest mistakes you can make on this mission, is trying to overextend yourself. That Frenzoid over here, for example, doesn't need to die. You don't need to waste your time on it. It helps to have a more aggressive class, like a, uh, a Storm, or even a Shock on this mission. So, if you prefer Tank, you might want to find someone with a little more firepower behind them. And there are people that I find them kind of weird that like to fly NG as their main class for missions and stuff. And I guess if you're into that, that's fine. But you will definitely want to have a storm or a shock with you. I make fun of NG, but it's it's a very useful class. Um, don't underestimate an NG. Especially since no matter what class of ship you're flying, you want to have an NG built for the next system. We'll go into a little bit more of that when we actually get there, though. So you can check the time you have left to defend it here. It has to stay up for five minutes. We're about halfway done. I guess one thing I can talk about in the meantime is I found this uh, really cool immersive 3D headset. It's called the Oculus Rift, and I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, you guys should definitely look it up. It's uh, supposed to be an ultra low latency virtual reality headset so definitely worth checking out I know I'll be buying it it looks really really cool there's also this um, attachment for called the Omni which is you know the oculus rift is just a headset but you're still in the chair with a gamepad and keyboard. And the Omni actually will translate your movements into keyboard uh, commands. And um, so you can, it's completely compatible with any game that uses a keyboard. 
And your running can turn into running, and it has a little uh, rifle attachment. So you can run around and shoot and look around. And they're going to attach the rift into that when the rift comes out as well. So it's going to look really, really tight. I'm very excited for the way VR is going right now. I think two or three years from now it's really going to explode. I hope it takes off. I think I'll go ahead and put links to the Omni and the Rift in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Got less than a minute to go. So like I said, this mission can get quite a bit, can get very tough if you don't have the right tech. Like I said, you really need top blues. These parasites tend to pile up, and whether they pile up on you or the reactor, they do a lot of damage. So if you try to fight them one at a time, you end up with the reactor dying. And if you try to get all of them on you and off the reactor, then you can die and then lose the reactor. Alright, so we're done protecting the re reactor. We are going to collect this strange object. It looks like an escape pod to me. I don't know why we're collecting it. So what you want to do as soon as you pick up the object is have your afterburner ready and Get the hell out of this area. You don't want to go north because there's absolutely nowhere to run up north. What you want to do is come over here to the outpost. Not only is it on the edge of the area, so you'll be out of the area in plenty of time, but it's also where you end up need, needing to go once you get out of the area. So once we're clear of the area here, these two ships will appear. It's supposed the mission is supposed to update when you get near, but it hasn't been doing that for me. So what I've been doing is scanning one of them to get it to update. And then you have to choose one of these scientists to defuse the bomb that you've just taken on board. Now, what I've been finding is that the, if you choose the so-called wrong scientist that can't defuse the bomb, nothing will happen. So, if you scan one of them and nothing happens, just scan the other and sit here and wait. And that's it. That's mission complete. So, pretty tough. Um, you gotta watch out that, that the parasites don't start stacking up on either you or the reactor. Like I said, you want a more offensive class with you, like a storm or a shock, if you're going to do this mission. So that mission can be pretty difficult. Like I said, you really want to have a power class with you, unless you're really, really good with a tank or an NG, and you have a decent blaster installed. Next mission we're going to do, finally going to get up to go to the Carl Sagan Laboratory, which we've heard so much about. Express Delivery is the next mission.
So this mission is time consuming, but it's really not difficult as long as you're careful. What you have to do is go all the way up to the Carl Sagan Laboratory through this switchbacking trail. It's a bit obnoxious, really, this map, I think, but when this map was out, it was like, it was uh, almost at the end of the game, so I guess I had to do something to slow you down. Originally, this game was just uh, Antares and Vega. It's one of the reasons I think Antares is so small to begin with. Gemini through Tau Ceti was were added over the years. I think this game is about five, six years old. But the Carl Sagan, um, it is where you're going to go every time you need to figure out what something is. Um, you go in every system, even in Tau Ceti already. We've been to the Carl Sagan. They are also going to be doing all the research on the artifacts that you'll find all the way up through Draconis. The artifact, of course, being the map that allows you to go to Sirius. So we just passed the first of the two E fields on our way up here. If you do need to fill at either of these, the second of which being right in this area, I highly recommend you do it. Don't try to tank it out, don't try to be all cool, because you could very well run out of energy, especially if you get into a fight. Generally, instead of fighting, I do recommend just trying to uh, power through it. If you do get a lot on you, and you don't have your afterburner anywhere close to back yet, you can shoot one or two things to just to ease the strain a little bit. But really, not too difficult on the way up here. Here's a 30 field, which I forgot about. One thing I can say is that uh, this ship really doesn't have the stronger armor like I did last system. Last system I had armor that was way overpowered for the system. Like, it was really quite ridiculous. So artifacts delivered. We've got one more thing to do before we're done with the mission. But this ship really has the same amount of armor as the standard storm does. It just looks differently. So you can see I only took a bar of damage coming up here. So we're given five minutes to defeat these mantis before they destroy the Carl Sagan. This is another one where you want to have a class that's capable of doing a lot of damage or just have a decent blaster on it. I, I keep pushing that you want the top blues by now. You really do want that top blue blaster right now.
Gonna kill, I think, one more wave and a couple more mantis. After that. Mission updates. At, I believe, 90%. And then we'll be done. One thing I don't understand is that we're supposed to be defending this outpost from the... Or the laboratory from the Mantis, and none of them are shooting. So that's always been kind of silly. I thought they used to shoot. I don't know. A lot seems to have changed since I was actually here doing these missions for the first time. But it's also been a very long time, so I could just not remember properly. And mission updates. We fly around to the front, and we get to meet Admiral Hornblower. You really must read this. So if you haven't read any of the story up on this mission yet, like I said, do try to keep track of the story. It makes the game a lot more interesting. Quite a bit to read here. Perfectly safe, though. Um, no more mantis in this area. That's it for this mission, let's go to orbit. Alright guys, I think that about does it for this episode. We're already touching on a little bit long. In the next episode, we will hopefully make a little bit more progress on Terrassa. It's going kind of slow. Like I said, the missions are a little bit longer now and they will continue to get longer. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to tell your friends, too. Help me spread the word, guys. Thank you, and I will see you guys next time.